The pace of change around us is faster than ever before. Generation Y is leading that change, expecting transparency, information and instant, always on access. Corporations, politicians and society as a whole are coming under new scrutiny and being judged from fresh viewpoints. So how should financial services react? What's going to be required of the sector in 10 to 15 years' time? What could the vision for the sector be? To answer some of those questions, 21 people early in their careers in financial services and across the sector, retail and wholesale banking, insurance, asset management, business schools and professional services came together to write their vision for their sector. What do they want to take over when the time comes for them to run it? The Next Generation Vision Project was a unique opportunity to work with people from across the sector and to debate how we want the sector to be when our generation comes to run it. Right from the beginning, I think, uh, we were all inspired by the fact that regardless of which part of the sector we came from, we shared the same hopes and aspirations. The team were fortunate enough to have access to senior figures and industry experts who really put time in to help us understand the issues that we were faced with, such as regulation, customer needs, sustainability and economics. The calibre of the experts was stunning. They really gave us the opportunity to challenge existing ideas, debate the issues that we faced and really come up with our own ideas for the future generation. The most insightful part was the opportunity to attend consumer groups up and down the country. It was really great to hear what people expected from financial services, to see their reaction when we got it right, but also to see how they felt when we got it wrong. I think everyone welcomed the opportunity to stand back and to listen to consumers talking not just about one product or service, but about their goals, their hopes and their aspirations, and how financial services can play a part in enabling to realise those. The opportunity to listen was really key to our thinking. Armed with the experts' views and consumer insights, each member of the team was asked to distill their own ambitions for the sector. After the expert views, we each put together uh, our ambition statement in a video. And looking back to those videos, I have realised how close we have come to our ambition um, as a group. We're very proud of our sector. Uh, when it's working at its best and we certainly have the intent to make it successful and that success has to be defined as delivering very superior value to our customer and giving back to the society and the community we operate in that we take from it and to do so continuously over the long term rather than just occasionally. Well it was terribly empowering when all of the vision statements came together and we realised there was this sort of a lot of common themes running through all of them. I think the most uh, significant of those was this feeling of a part of society, not a part from society. So what was that vision? Well, the next generation vision is presented in three parts. The ambition, the building blocks for delivering this, and the big steps required to work towards it. Our ambition is to harness our industry and the talent within it so that every individual, every business and the nation as a whole can, can prosper. Harnessing the industry so that its strength moves forward the jobs and growth outside the sector that depend on the financial services for its success and not just through loans and financing but also through using our expertise and skills to make sure that our local projects and local businesses are sustainable, successful, stronger. Our ambition is built on the idea that financial services can end up in the success of others and their success measures our own success. We didn't feel our company should take on non-profitable customers. However, we did conclude that we should work together with others, such as the government, to find solutions for these customers. A wealth of detail lies behind the ambition statement, ideas and definitions of how that ambition can be put into practice. We created a structure for how we wanted our vision to be realised. We break this down into several areas. Firstly, our role in society. Uh, secondly, our values and behaviour as an industry. Our products and services and how we develop them. And fourthly, how we can do all that whilst maintaining the UK's position as a global centre for financial services, which actually benefits everybody in the UK. The vision is a statement of intent to enrich, to protect and satisfy customers, to be an integral contributor to the community, to be a source of deep national pride, and to be a standard bearer for financial services globally. To make the vision a reality will require a series of actions starting today. We don't necessarily expect the sector to sign up to our vision word for word, but we do expect our leaders to work towards the general direction of our vision. 
The Next Generation Vision is 21 people's views on how financial services can play an integral role in the UK's success in the years ahead. A sector fine-tuned to the needs of a new generation of customers and staff. A vision that spans all the elements that make up the industry. And most importantly, theirs is a voice that will be heard in the most senior levels of the financial services. Our ambition is to harness the power of our industry and the talent within it so that every individual, every business and the nation as a whole can prosper. To make this vision a reality, we need the industry to work through a moral code with responsible practices built on sound ethics. We want sustainable value where the long-term focus is on the financial prosperity of our customers. We want the industry to act in partnership with its customers to help them to achieve their goals. Greater transparency in language, behaviour and products. Lifelong financial education embedded in our schools and beyond. And global competitiveness where together we can be the world's best financial services industry.